To find a counterexample, we need the hypothesis here to be true, but the conclusion here to be false. So let's have a look at these statements. If the hypothesis isn't even true, then they definitely can't be counterexamples. That one has radius 6, so at least the hypothesis is true. This has radius 5, which is not greater than 5, so we can ignore that because the hypothesis isn't even true. This has radius 7, so this is a possible. This has radius 4, which means that it doesn't even satisfy the hypothesis. And this one has radius 6, which means it is at least a potential. So for A, C and E, we can now see, do they satisfy the conclusion? Well, x squared plus y squared equals 36 is centered at the origin so clearly it crosses the x and y axis so that is not our counter example for c we have that the radius is 7 and it's 8 away from the x and 10 away from the y so it doesn't cross either of the axes so this is a counter example and let's have a look at e well basically the center of this circle is at minus 7 2 with a radius of 6 it will pass through the x axis so this is not a counter example because the conclusion is true therefore the only counter example here is c